Celebrities are seen for their talented careers and their extraordinary looks, but we don't tend to think about their intelligence. While some celebrities play off dumb blonde well, others may mask extremely high-level IQs. Here are 10 celebrities you wouldn't necessarily believe are geniuses. Nolan Gould the Modern Family star who plays troublemaker Luke Dempsey graduated from high school in 2012 when he was just 13 years old. He took a general education development test to expedite his education. With an IQ of 150, he was invited to join Mensa, a high IQ exclusive society. Mayim Bialik Not only is Mayim Bialik an actress, she's also a neuroscientist with an IQ between 150 and 163 in real life. She was accepted into both Harvard and Yale in her youth, but decided to attend UCLA instead so she could stay close to her family. She earned her PhD in 2007. Unlike her character Amy Farrah Fowler on The Big Bang Theory, she's far from socially awkward. She started acting in 1988 when she landed a role in Pumpkinhead and went on from there, alternating between acting and school. Sharon Stone the Meadville, Pennsylvania-raised actress and former model won her first title as Miss Crawford County while attending Edinburgh University at the age of 15. She quit school shortly after in 1977 and moved in order to work in New York City with Ford Modeling Agency. She got her big break in film in 1990 when she starred alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger in Total Recall. Despite the interruption to her schooling, Sharon Stone is more than a pretty face. Her IQ is alleged to be 154. Ben Affleck California-born Ben Affleck began his acting career as a child in 1981. He and his younger brother auditioned for local TV commercials and lived with their mother following their parents' divorce when Affleck was 12. He achieved a near-perfect SAT score while in high school. Despite his poor attendance and lack of focus, his IQ is said to be 154. After moving to Los Angeles when he was 18, he began studying at Occidental College. When his creative writing professor disliked an early draft of Goodwill Hunting, he dropped out after a year. Aisha Tyler Aisha Tyler is an American actress, comedian, talk show host, and many other things. She currently lends her voice to Lana Kane and Archer, co-hosts The Talk, and hosts Whose Line Is It Anyway? She also appeared in reoccurring roles in CSI Crime Scenes Investigation and Criminal Minds. Ranking in Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 list, you may not realize her IQ ranks at 156. She graduated from Dartmouth College in 1992 with a bachelor's in political science and a minor in environmental policy. Matt Damon Massachusetts-born Matt Damon felt lonely as a child and felt bullied due to his short height. He went to Cambridge Alternative School and Cambridge Ridge and Latin School before meeting a young Ben Affleck. The pair became friends and influenced each other's creativity. He attended Harvard University until 1992 when he left to accept the lead role of Geronimo, an American legend. With an amazing IQ of 160, it's no surprise that he was able to help Ben Affleck with the screenplay of Goodwill Hunting, a film starring a young math genius in the early 1990s. Conan O'Brien Best known for his late-night talk shows, Conan and The Tonight Show, Conan also wrote sketches for Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons. While attending Brookline High School in Massachusetts, O'Brien graduated as valedictorian in 1981. With an IQ of 160, it's no surprise that he was accepted into Harvard University. His focus was in American history and literature, and received his bachelor's when he graduated with honors in 1985. Marilyn Monroe Born Norma Jean Mortensen, Monroe was famous for portraying dumb blondes. She became a popular sex symbol in the 1950s and was a top billing actress. She spent the majority of her childhood in foster homes at an orphanage in Los Angeles. She was photographed while working in a factory in 1944 and began her pin-up modeling career shortly after. Despite having dropped out of high school due to her circumstances, Monroe had a surprising intelligence. Her IQ was recorded at 168. While she may be long gone herself, her influence on the stars of today is undeniable. Rowan Atkinson The British-born actor and comedian is best known for his portrayal of the near-silent, bumbling Mr. Bean in the 1990s and early 2000s. Despite the character's foolishness, 
Atkinson himself boasts an IQ of 178, one of the highest among his fellow stars. He attended the Queen's College in Oxford in order to receive his master's degree. While completing his MSc, he met Richard Curtis, a writer and director. It was that meeting that inspired Atkinson to pursue acting. He and Curtis created the character of Mr. Bean together. While the majority of his characters are comical, it's his portrayal of more serious characters that display his true intellect. James Woods Born in Utah, the 69-year-old actor and producer grew up in Rhode Island after the death of his father. After achieving a near-perfect score in his SATs, Woods received a full scholarship. Considering his astounding IQ of 184, he is the highest ranked among celebrities. He majored in political science for his undergraduate studies, attending classes at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Before graduating, he decided to drop out in 1969 after meeting the theater company of Boston stage manager Tim Affleck, Ben Affleck's father, in order to pursue an acting career. Thanks for watching this video, folks. Were any of these celebrities totally shocking for you? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're here, why don't you check out these other videos? And please, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks.